Hello Brandon here from the Hammer Game Channel welcome back to my Ching playthrough. We're in the last episode. Well, we tried helping over here in India because the Anton are coming in quite hard on the, um, the Princely Federation. Probably due to them being a bunch of useless buggers and are just doing terrible themselves in the war. Um, yeah, Canada Canada's really the only one that's really still alive. Do you know what I'm actually going to do? I think, I think it's worthwhile doing. We're going to strike the Princely Federation, I think. I think we're going to do that. And then we'll take down the Entente as well. We're going to strike at them. Because to be honest, they have no influence over this side. The only influence they currently have over in India is Nepal and the landing they have. Other than that, they're dead in Africa. France is slowly losing out. And they're not even anywhere in Europe. So it'll literally just be Canada. So I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. So let's go ahead and start... Prepping for war, I guess. Unless we do just want to focus on Japan. For the time being. Japan. Oh, Japan's still got a decent number of divisions. Their factories are crap. We've got, uh, the planes are pretty even. The fleet is the thing we need to sink. Because we do not have that many ships. We have been... Um, oh, Muscat's joined. They kind of do have a lot of influence now then. We have kind of been going... For a modernized navy of, like, kind of, but, um, it's still not the uh, greatest thing we've ever seen. Like, we've got modern light ship hulls and advanced submarine hulls, but uh, steel is still a massive issue. Korea can't really even provide us with what we're wanting, so I'm gonna just go with... Oh. Is there nobody... Wait, I, I can't believe I'm gonna do this, but I think... Yeah, we're going to just have to trade with America. It's going to take a lot of convoys, but it's not like we're short of them. Still integrating places. We can still purchase foreign weapons. Oh no, don't crash. Oh, phew. Oh, I thought it was crashing there. Um, let's get the anti-tank upgrade. What do we finish now? Oh, yes. The French Republic is dead. That literally leaves the Canadians. That is that is all who remains in the Entente. Is there any way we can go ahead and maybe break? Break them in here? I, I, I don't want to attack the Entente if I don't need to because I really can't be bothered. Hold it against. Well, I'm not even holding against them. I'm trying to get the Canada to kill them because I just want AI to do that. America should hopefully join. Are our tank templates actually what I want them to be? Yeah, they are good. They just just struggling with the terrain because obviously it's mountains. Tanks and mountains do not go hand in hand. The Russians are attacking Karachi right now, so if we were able to break through here, which we're not going to be able to. What on earth do they have in there? Tanks are not going to be able to work for us. Saying that. Get over here. Back over here. Spanish Civil War is over. Who won? The Kingdom of Spain. Wow, you join the Anton, you're instantly dead, mate. <laughs> they are instantly dead. No, no. Why did they come down here? Because if we can... Push in here, we'll liberate these. Is it Russians? Oh no, the Australasian Union. We can help them out because then um, they should be able to get supplies. I'm sure they'll have. Well, they should be able to get supplies. They're connected to that port. Well, maybe not. We'll see. Oh, the Princely Federation's even moving. Come on, tanks. I know it's some really, really harsh terrain for you. Oh, they are sucking. The tanks are sucking. They are not doing so well at all. Again. Oh! 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 Oh no! Um, 
Thanks, I need some years ago to Karachi. Oh, see, this is better. This is better. Good. Oh, Karachi's fallen. Does that mean the Dominion of India is dead? Where's our capital now? They can't have a capital somewhere. Surely not. Yeah, muscats, muscats capitulated already. Well, that's that's hilarious. I have to say. I feel like the Canadians could be losing a lot of troops in there. The homie is gone. So really, the Entente's influence is really, really gone. It is, it is non-existent. I don't like how the Russian state has has Greece right now. It'll be really interesting to see if they go after Poland and Ukraine now. It would make sense for them to go ahead and do that. It's rightful Russian clay after all. <clears throat> oh no, I was meaning you guys are going to hit. But why are we doing so terrible against these guys? Yeah, the terrain is the thing that's really killing us. Ah, oh, their experience as well, of course. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna be able to do anything with these tanks. I guess we'll just sit and wait. And we're justifying on anyone right now. No, we haven't got a justification started on anyone. See, we could strike at the third international and try and take over their um their holdings over here. Which isn't a terrible idea, but I would rather take up the Prince of the Federation and even Afghanistan. That is who we're wanting next, because not really going to strike the Russian alliance anytime soon, but if they go to war with the International, I'll probably strike them both. Maybe. I do really like the thought of striking Russia. Take Transamur. Get Vladivostok. We'll go for the old Qing borders. More dockyards. I guess we'll continue the build. Steel is a really big issue. That's why I'm kind of wanting the expand further into well definitely into oh yes glorious so as soon as oh tw oh that's ours fantastic that's brilliant so we'll help you in the war but as soon as it's over then um we're, we're coming for you wait we were building ports were not we're Because naval invasions are probably going to be the best thing to use. Right, we have the modern um, submarine hulls now. I feel like we should go for some heavy ship. That's already on its way. Good, 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 good. Right, let's go for the last... It's advanced ladder craft because it allows us to go mental in the Pacific. So, who actually controls all these islands? We have the Dutch. The Dutch are fine. I really do want to strike Japan as soon as, though. How many naval bombers do we have? Oh, yes. Excellent. The naval bombers are really, really being pumped out, which is flipping amazing. I'm going to get any tank. Where are they? Where are my glorious naval bombers? I did see some, but where's where's the most up-to-date ones? Aha, here they are, naval bomber too. Now, of course, I will not be at war with anyone else when I go to war with Japan. Oh, no, because we're going to start uh, strike the legation cities. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to begin the war by attacking the legation cities so I can actually get control of them and they'll be mine. Our volunteers are back from India for them to go straight back out to India. And we'll sort the rest of the naval bombers up later. Do we have anything we want to grab in here? We should probably go ahead and get... Yeah, fighter manufacturer. I think I'd rather go for the... Yeah, the actual boosts of their capabilities. Oh, here's all the, the tanks. Actually, you can just stay out of the war in India right now. We'll just go ahead and, like beef you up. So, where's, where's tanks? I'm just gonna start producing them like there's no tomorrow. And 
has for you. Surely these are these portion of belt yet? Okay, we've almost got one. Oh no. Yeah, we have got one. We have got one tier ready. Well, one of them. One of them. Just a, a single one. All right, we're gonna have to be s s cautious here. I don't really want to go straight in. Oh, well, saying that. No, we probably want to launch a naval invasion of those ports there. And then this other guy will send on a massive trail round the back. Who are they still fighting? Oh, oh, do you know what's going on? The Third International and you know, Taunton have divisions there. Now, I am just curious to see whether or not there is actually going to be a war. Oh, I forgot Rudolf Hess, Hess is in charge of the, the German Union. Do they get a war goal? Turn it down, you liberate Iberia. Peaceful revolution. Liberation decisions will become available. How did you choose? Did you do the elections? Cut off the capitalists. See, I was hoping they were maybe going to. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a war kickoff between the Russians and the uh, the international. It would be amazing if it did. It would be because they are Goliaths at this point. Saying that we are not too shabby ourselves. Once we get with Japan. Um, do we want to go there? Or do we want to go for like Mumbai? I think Mumbai is a good show because then we can try and link up diagonally right at High uh, Darabad. Is that still the capital? Which is brilliant. They only have 54 divisions. So we are we are definitely striking them more than we really need to be. Oh, is Nepal and Bhutan there as well? Nepal is. Bhutan is just there. <laughs> we'll just invade you. And we'll, we'll also start a Oh, we'll start justification on uh, Afghanistan as well. Now, I think next episode we should take down the legation cities and um, start looking towards taking out Japan. Well, their navy anyways. We'll have to garrison a lot of land. Obviously, I will not call the puppets in. We could try and take the Philippines from them, actually, as well. But that, actually, there's no really need, no need to do that. Who controls that? The commune of Hawaii. Forgot you exist. Lead the revolution. Okay, okay. They have done the next step, so it will be interesting to see whether they go for their own little thing, or if they go ahead and join the international. Both routes will result in Edward here dying, because that is a pathetic army. Compared to the Americans already. And because he's against half the world, that, that is also um, not great for him. Five days until we go to war. How good are your divisions? I might actually get rid of them once we take out Burma. We might just give them that land. Or maybe even give it to Siam. We'll see what happens. How many divisions you guys got, actually? Four and four. Good, my puppets are doing great. Right, yes, I want my land, thank you. You could just give me it, but um, nope, I'm going to take it by force. And a, a screw you, Burma. Ah, one little thing. We need an air. Glorious. How many planes they actually got? 594. Ah, oh, that's fine. Right, fire threes. Glorious. Now, the reason we're taking out India is because we need all the resources. And because it's someone we can actually invade that will not result in us going to war with a faction. <laughs> Unless they join a faction as we're at war with them. Which would not be shocking. Call the arms. Get your asses in here. Wow, the Princely Federation has got some really under-equipped divisions kicking around. It is halfway. Where is the um, where's the fleet at? Do you guys want to just come together and make your way around to here? We'll bin this because we do not need you in the South China Sea now. We need you in the Bay of uh, Bay of Bengal. I was going to say Biscay there. It's like, you idiot. Yep, going down here. We are kind of pushing, kind of struggling. Their whole army will most likely be over here, so... Yeah. There's only unlimited conscription, so we still have all that manpower to get through. And 
elsewhere as well, like up on the higher conscriptions. And let's go ahead and continue the integrations of the last of the land. Okay, that's a lot more red now. Oh, well, saying that, we're almost through the Rangoon, so... Oh, I've lost 69,000, though. Oh, I think I'll stop pushing right now and just take Rangoon and kill off these divisions in here. I think the yellows are actually good to be pushing. I think it's the north because of the mountainous terrain. I think it's mountainous. Or just, they must have more divisions up there. The yellows can keep going though. Oh yeah, good. We're bringing their casualties right up to our bloody level. Burma must be close to dying. Yeah, Burma has lost 104k. Yeah, we'll steady on with them as well. How long until these? Not too long. The fleets are on their way. They should be able to get access into those seas. If not, we're just going to have to go high. They can't there, so... Oh, I, for I forgot about that entrance there. Um... Damn it, I. <laughs> ah, you, you fool. Um, you fool. Um, do we maybe, can we maybe do something about that? Oh, we could send over some tanks to block off here. You idiot, Denhamer. You absolute idiot. I completely forgot about that, but they can do that all they want because we are going to go mental with naval invasions in a minute. So they are going to be not in a good position either. Because um, we're going to go ahead and land right in at Kolkata. I don't care if they push into the north. I'd rather if they done stupid stuff. Have they actually abandoned, like, some of Burma here to just be our fate? To their fate. Kill them. Kill them all. Kingdom of Spain's joined the Entente. Why would you do that? Why, why would you do that? You've just died. You have just died. I'm going to get close to capitulating Burma, but we're not going to capitulate them until we have got to Calcutta and came in behind them. Oh, there you go. We have to cut them up up here then as well. Can our tanks actually push in? That would be quite entertaining if they could. Alright, steady on in Burma. Are you ready to go? Five days. Five days. Nice pilot. Glorious. We do still have air superiority. They're not getting volunteers from anyone. They've given they've given untaught military access. Right, goodbye to you. Off you go. To the south. How many divisions have they actually got now? Still only got fifty nine. Oh gosh, we need. Do you know what we really need to spend some time doing? No bloody dockyards really at this point. We need to get some fair refineries and fuel depots out. It's one thing I always never do. Come on, divisions. Hopefully, hopefully we can just land without any hassle whatsoever. Oh no, they, there is one division. That is that is completely fine because Pondicherry does not have any divisions in it. So yeah, that's that's very good. Just get five divisions attack there, and we'll spread. Out over here, like so. Hopefully, we'll take Madras as well. <clears throat> Actually, we should tell you to go that way. Just walk across there. Madras is definitely gonna fall. Aha! There we go. So now everyone's kind of joined onto this line. What we'll do is we'll just draw a big old offensive line up there, and they can do their thing. Yep, aggressive, aggressive. 
As soon as this is good to go, we're going for it. Two days. I really wish I could send the tanks over there now, actually. Um, let's do it. No race pilot. I'll take that. Oh, you pumped out some more divisions, did you? Because you've seen this happening. It's a shame we're going to be landing down in Calcutta as well in a minute. To be quite honest, as soon as we cut off the south, everybody's got. I'm just sending all of them up north. Wow, they have sent a decent number of divisions to try and stop this. Well, that's a shame. Let's start pushing here. We're good to do it. Apparently. Oh my gosh, yes. And we got divisions landing in Calcutta. Why is it only 16? Oh no, oh no, no, no. Well, we are all out here. And we have successfully landed without any hassle whatsoever. That's fantastic. No, like, the majority is up there, please. We, we really do not need anybody really on this at all. Oh, look at that. We're spreading like a wildfire. Tanks. Get pushing. I feel like you guys can do some damage up there now. I'm going to start upgrading the tor um, torpedo launchers. And also, the, and, well, the subs. Oh, yes, mechanized. We shall be getting them out very soon. Oh, yes, can we actually go to close the economy as well? Ah, glorious. Finally, all the resources are mine. <laughs> no one else is sharing, so why should I share? Oh, is this going to be a, is this a cheeky wee encirclement? I think so. There's 18 divisions on it. <laughs> Joseph, how dare you get injured? Worm was about to die. You have killed half a mil. Okay, so we've lost... For every man we've killed... Every two men we've killed, we've lost one. Which is fine. And we're walking into the capital. Walking on into the capital. And this is just exploding over here. This is fantastic. Not looking so good, India. Not looking so good, I mean, Princely Federation. As long as you're not rule the Federation skies. Well. Sorry to do this to you, but I think you'll find that I control the skies. <laughs> kind of wish I had more divisions over there and over here now, really. We're still good, though. We are good. Once, um, once Burma does capitulate. Oh, there. Uh, <laughs> thanks for joining us, Spain. Thanks, thanks for joining us. Oh, you fooled. I think I've just noticed that there is no divisions actually pushing up here. Get back down here. Why do we still have cavalry? Are we idiots? <laughs> we still have cavalry? What am I doing? I thought of someone just to find me there. I was like, Japan! Japan, what are you doing, man? Oh, Burma is about to kick the bucket. Oh. That's why, because we've just cut them off. Well, that is also fantastic. Not really the cut off I was going for, but it's still, still really good. Just draw a line like that. That should still work. Actually, no, no, it really, really doesn't. Ah, that's fair. Then you push them, boys. How many divisions they got left? Sixty-six, and a lot of them are probably dying down here. But yeah, if you know what's good for you, to sit, sit we. Is it sit we? Hope I'm saying that right. Although I would be shocked if I wasn't. Oh, Cheng, we are getting thick. Right, Japan. I'm surprised the Netherlands has not done anything. Prepare the inundation lines. Good for them. What are we short of? Rifles? Oh, damn. We're short of rifles. No! You in behind. You fools. Exploit the lines. Exploit the gaps. 
Yeah, like exploit how they've not gotten the one port that they have left over here. Oh, we we stopped them. We killed Burma. We killed their divisions. Oh, they've still got 58 divisions. Still got 58 divisions. Just wait until Mumbai falls though. Just you wait. They have a front that they're drawn to. Because I have it right bloody here. It's in the direction of all the juicy stuff. So how are the tanks fair in here? They're doing they're doing okay. The tanks are doing alright. Oh what about everyone's doing alright. We are doing good. I think I just went and deleted part of the line there. So I'm need to sort that out. There we go. There we go. Let's bloody go. Come on, Mumbai is Mumbai is right there, lads. Yeah, Mumbai's gonna kill them. The fall of Mumbai is gonna kill them. Mainly because all the territory that the Princely Federation started off with is disappearing. And we should get our guns back. How many divisions? Three divisions. Alright, that's 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 takeable. Yeah, can you guys head over here and get air superiority for us? Maybe send over some bombers as well. Oh, isn't it glorious? Except from this. <laughs> I bet they're regretting going up into there. See, that was all part of my master plan. Yeah, I'm sorry, we're, we're staring at a Greek division that's defending that part of the line. And uh, surprisingly enough, we're not at war with the Greeks. Come on, just, just die for us. Just die. Okay, okay, okay. Getting behind them. If we can cut off Mumbai, it's better for everybody. You just go straight through there. Um, right, 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 right. Tank, 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 tanks. Do we want modern day tanks? I think we do. We need those modern day tanks. Just like we need to get the jet engine researched. And also, atomic research. Once the advanced um, torpedoes finishes, we're going to go for um, the synthetic refineries because we need that as well. Let's upgrade our fighters. Are we cutting off Mumbai? I hope so, as really we could do with just finishing this war, wrapping it up right at the end of the episode, which would be nice. They're 98% of the way. Mumbai has successfully been cut off with a lot of divisions, I think. There's four there. There goes Mumbai. There goes the war. Kingdom of Burma. Nom nom nom. Princely Federation. Nom nom nom. And Nepal. Nom nom nom. There we go. Oh, what a beautiful ching. All that remains to die now is just um, just these guys here, which we'll just uh, we'll dump our Americans onto that. And uh, we're going after Afghanistan as well. So we'll go ahead and just send some of our guys over to deal with them. Remember, there's a tiny bottleneck there. Ah, the annexations. Right, 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 right. The fate of Burma. Split it up. Oh, gosh, split it up. I would split it up, do. Let's split it up. Does it look terrible? It doesn't look that great. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and... Make them one. Oh, that's that's so much better. And she's back in charge as well. Uh, Nepal. Um, how much would it cost me to keep hold of? Oh, Jesus! Yeah, we're we're gonna create an empire of India. The empire of India. Oh yeah, but I, I'm I'm keeping Sri Lanka. Thank you. And Nepal can be freed as well. Whoa, 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 this is mine. I clicked the thing, I took the losses. Give me, give me this, I'm taking that, that is mine. Ah, uh, welcome back, welcome back. Now I need all your resources. Yugoslavia, what am I getting? Aluminium. Right, 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 right. Let's, let's cancel all this and see what we can do. Princely Federation. 
I was going to say, how is my influence too low with my puppet? I shall take all that, thank you. Or I'll take half of it. Uh, as for Siam, I'll take all yours. I'm still going to have to trade with someone that I really don't want to trade with, but oh well. And we're still going to trade with Yugoslavia as well, but hopefully tungsten wise, yes, the Princely Federation is right here for us. Right. Good. Good, 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 good. That is excellent. Very nice. We have one decision we can take? What, what decision is that? Oh, return Indian lands. Pfft, no. No, I'm, I'm keeping Sri Lanka, thank you. Right, Synthia Refinery time. We need to start building them up if we're going to go ahead and take down Japan. So we shall build ourselves up now. So our little empire is not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. And, uh, oh, I take it we've got rid of the gun deficit. We have not. 67 days, we're short medium tanks as well. There we go, that has resolved the issue. <laughs> 8,000 guns. I am still producing guns, right? I am still producing guns. Maybe I want more factories onto them. Which is something I think we should get back onto building, because I do want to build even more naval bombers. Fighters, close air support, and tactical, uh, strategic bombers, I mean. As well as more of you. Yeah, we, we, can, we can stop with that. And let's go ahead and start building some more military factories. How are we doing for civilian, actually? 99. Okay, time for some more civilian factories as well. We'll maybe build about 10 of them. And then we'll build some more military factories again. Just just get the industry booming. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I shall be back soon for another episode. Until then, take care. Cheery ba- Okay, Ethiopia, you need to, you need to simmer, man. You need to simmer. Simmer. Anyways, cheer by the now.